Play clock at two. Vikings blitz. Manning got it off. The rare deep throw. And maybe that's why they don't do it. Intercepted by Xavier Rhodes. Picking up blockers across midfield. And out of bounds. Look at the top of the screen. Rhodes versus Beckham. I don't know if Eli gave him the signal or Odell didn't get it. But Eli threw the ball to the post. I don't know what Beckham is running. And Xavier Rhodes delivers. Ladies and gentlemen, here with us today, man, we got 2017 NFL Pro Bowl, uh, uh, 2016 NFL Pro Bowl player, first team, all ACC, 2012 ACC Defensive Rookie of the Year. He's here with us today, mm -hmm. and he plays the position that I helped perfect back in my <laughs> days of playing on a green grass um, cornerback. The one and only Xavier Rhodes is here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up, Xavier? How you yeah, doing, man? I'm doing great. Man, good, you, good to be here. Man, I love how you keep in the tradition of cornerback um, at its highest form. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you, how you took the baton and, and helped it grow. I don't know if you know I used to play cornerback. I was going to say, Xavier, you mind asking him, like, how old was he and how long was his career? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. just, just go ahead and start. Get it out the way, Xavier. Right, go, okay, ahead, Xavier. go ahead. It's go safe, ahead. man. It's go, safe, man. Go. How long? Uh, I play cornerback. Uh uh, one, two seasons, and I played uh, middle linebacker. I was the defensive team captain for a mm -hmm. season, and I mm -hmm. led the team in interceptions and run backs. You know, kind of like how you ran it back 100 yards. Mm -hmm. we, I did that first. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, you know, I'm, okay, just, okay. I'm just saying, man. So that was Pop Warner, <laughs> Little League, Oakland Dynamite. <laughs> 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 memorable though <laughs> they still talk about me in the streets of oakland Xavier. thank you Xavier. Oh, that's all just clear the Yo, end i'm just so urban myth out there baby uh legend <laughs> <laughs> congratulations on your career yeah, yeah thank you man thank you. What, what is it like i mean i grew up playing football we all thought we were somebody that we looked up to and then actually have a dream of playing in the league and accomplish it what what is that like to be living your dream man? oh man it's awesome to be honest it's really awesome you know you know like you say you're growing up want to play football you know you wish you can get to the nfl and be able to accomplish that it's just it's just a blessing you know just wake up each and every day and just doing something every man wish they would be able to do you know and I, you don't take that for granted i definitely don't take it for granted that's, that's why i go out there each and every year and go out there and play my play it to my own to play it to my best ability. Yeah, I'm glad you don't take it for granted, which means yeah. she's not hitting bongs before the day, get, the day of the game, <laughs> not getting caught up with prostitutes. You didn't want to pay none of that, right? No, 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 no okay. definitely, definitely. Yeah, 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 because I see a lot of you. <laughs> Yeah, the off season <laughs> makes for good news. A lot of dudes yeah. get yeah. kicked out of the league for smoking purple. That's just that, <laughs> what do you? Yeah. That's just not a reason to get kicked out of the league. What do you make make of this season, man? Like Pittsburgh won this weekend. Dallas lost. Dallas. And I, I oh, bet yeah. against Dallas, so I won. Ah, uh, you know <laughs> that Dallas game. You know I've been. The, man, come on! You know it's Aaron Rodgers. You know yeah. the team, the guy you know, don't don't have Jordy Nelson. Still yeah. made it, found a way. You know what I'm saying. You have a receiver, Ty Montgomery. You have Montgomery in the backfield. He's a receiver. You know the guy finds a way to win. You know yeah. that team finds a way, finds a way to win. You know, and um, Dallas is a great team. I played against both. Yeah, you know those guys are good. You know Ezekiel is good. Dak is good. Dez is good. They uh -huh. defense played really good against us. So, so Dez, how what is it like guarding Dez, man? Oh, uh, man, he's pretty physical. He's a guy. You know, once the ball get in the air, you know, he's going to catch it. You know, uh -huh. so you have to be physical with him. So the whole game, my whole game plan was like, man, just get in this guy's face, you know, and try to be physical and just when the ball's in the air, just attack the ball instead of just trying to get in a uh, fighting contest with him. Uh-huh, because he gonna, he's going to win. He's going <laughs> to yeah. What Attacking Ezekiel, what is that like? It just seems like he doesn't stop. Like, even when you hit him, it's an extra four or five mm -hmm. yards. He, I mean, I guess he, he always falls forward. He finds a way to fall forward to gain the extra um, two or three yards, you know, if you need it. But the guys is just unbelievable, man. He's like to be a to be a rookie. He don't play like a rookie. You yeah. know? He's out there. It seemed like he's been in the game for a few years. You know, the guy's actually good. You know, he make the great cuts. He patient when he runs. Uh -huh. Wait on his own line to open up a hole for him. So I mean, you see a running back like that. You see a running back that's probably been in the league a couple of years. You know, learning the game. But uh -huh. this guy seemed like he already been already been there. So the hardest receiver for you to guard has been in your career. <sighs> In my career, you know, I can't – Julio, for one. Okay. I cover Julio. 
You want to uh, comment on that, Mr. Cohen? Uh, he's, uh, to Steve me, Cohen, he's the best receiver in the league. Now, Heather, I didn't want to hear this, but you know Xavier just shut down your guy Beckham this I, year. I, okay? I know that. I, mean, I, I, I just, don't understand why Sway would bring that clip up for like the Giants. Like, why <laughs> we, we, don't do that? we were going to walk around to it, just like I brought up my my my, my football career. We just take them back to get them up front. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he shut down a lot of great receivers I this know, year. So I the know. question that I would have for him, you know, I think Julio Jones is the best receiver because he's got the size, the speed, and he mm-hmm. fights. Mm-hmm. He mm-hmm. will fight you for yardage, which is yes, my problem will. with Amari Cooper. We'll get to that later. Okay, he, he needs to learn fun. how to fight out there. Let's not, you know I mean? let's not Raider bash I'm just today, saying. Oh, no, man. Man. I'm just saying. <laughs> when you, look at this young man. Yeah. He's over six feet tall. He runs like the wind, and he's tough as nails. Yeah, I hugged him. You're gonna get, cut, yeah, cut, you're going to get open against him. him. <laughs> you ain't going to get open against him unless you fight. Yeah. You know? Oh, Dude. man. So you played against Matty Ice, Matt Ryan, oh, Aaron Rodgers, yeah. NFC championship game. Mm-hmm. Who do you like and why? Oh, that's a great question. It's going to be – I believe – it's gonna be an offensive game, you know. Those guys are gonna go out there and air the ball out, you know. You know, Aaron gonna make accurate throws, and you know, Matty Ice gonna try to get the ball to Julio and his receiver. So, before you answer that question, we'll come back and find out what his answer is. Xavier Rose is it like this. <laughs> We're doing radio. Tease. Xavier looks scared. That's a great team. Like he's about he's to guard me. Say about this. All right, yeah. Like he's about to guard me. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Double that with their four string running back. Hobby yelling go. Sway in the morning, Shay four five. Xavier Rhodes here. He's here with a purpose too. We'll get into that real quick. But Steve Cohen, you just asked him a question. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean he faced Aaron Rodgers, Matty Ice, Matt Ryan may be the MVP this year. And which guy's tougher to go against? And 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 given their receiver core going into this NFC Championship game, who do you give the edge to? Mm. Oh man, I'm I'm I'm, I'm be honest. I'm I, how Aaron been playing, man. I got to get to Aaron. Aaron is unbelievable right now. He's just playing lights out, lights out. This man is just throwing on the, on the money, he, he, every play, making the right calls, making the right throws, putting his team in a great situation to win the game. You know, I mean, I can't say uh, Matty Ice is not going to give up. Mighty, Mighty Ice is going to make the great throws, probably try to go over 400, 300-yard passing. Julio going to try to get at least two or three touchdowns some, some way, somehow. But it's going to be a great game. I can tell you it's going to be a close game. It's going to be a field goal game like it was um, the game before. Can Xavier Rhodes was hanging out with us, um, number 29, uh, Minnesota Vikings. But he's not just here to talk sports, right, Heather? No, he's not here to talk about sports. He's here to talk about the kids' first fun, which I'm excited to hear about anytime any of the athletes come up. Because as Sway mentioned earlier, a lot of times in the offseason especially, we hear so much negative news mm. and guys getting in trouble. Very rarely yeah. do we have an opportunity to sit down and talk to the athletes about what they're doing positively. So we want to hear about the fun and the foundation. Actually, you know, my head coach started a fan um, in Florida State, Jimbo Fisher, mm-hmm. his son. I uh, have the the rare disease, and um, it's something growing up with it. Growing up with uh, seeing him grow up, basically, mm-hmm. you know, and coming to the NFL and hearing that he had the rare disease is is is, is it bothered me to the core because seeing it, actually seeing that little man grow up, you know, is mm-hmm. I wanted to help my coach spread the word, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. spread the word, and um, try to get people to um have the knowledge and and know about this rare disease that can help. No, find a cure for it. Okay, what for people that's listening now, our citizens of Swain in the morning, what is the disease called? It's called uh, FA. Mm-hmm. It's called FA, and uh, I mean, Fair Coma. Um, I think, yeah, Fair Coma. It's called FA. So um, it's basically, you know, for, for Coma, for, it's anema. Yeah. Yeah. With the anema. blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a tricky name. <laughs> yeah. It's just kind of like my patterns I run up and down oh, the field. Oh, gosh, Sway. It's right, uh, for Coma <laughs> anemia. It's yeah, a rare blood, blood disease. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, rare blood disease. So um, it's something, you know, basically, you know, I'm trying to help my coach spread the word on, you know, this. Like I say, it's just seeing little Ethan grow up, you know, and it was it's pretty tough, you know, and him going through that, you know. And, I mean, you had a couple of memories. I have a couple of memories with him when I was mm-hmm. at Florida State. So I was. We really wanted to help him and um, hit the family. After we take some of the calls, because we do have a lot of people talking, um, want to talk to you, can we get a website information and send people to the website to, to donate or just spread the awareness of it as well? Will we be able to do that in just a second after we take these calls? Perfect. Mm. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's take some of the calls. Derek uh, from Milwaukee is on the line. What up? Say hello to Xavier <laughs> uh, Rhodes. Go hey, ahead, De- Derek. Derek, what's up? Hey, 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 what's going on, Xavier? Minnesota till it's over, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Minnesota till hey, it's what, over. <laughs> hey, what we looking like next year? Oh, man, we looking good, man. You know, Dead's going to be back. 
you know, there's a lot of us going to be back. A lot of players that's injured this year are going to be back, you know. So we're looking good, you know. As you know, the defense was good this year. We're going to continue to look good, you know. And we're just going to work on both sides of the field, come together as a team more, and try to take it all next year. And actually, the Super Bowl is in Minnesota, so we're trying to play, be the first team ever to play home in the, in the, in the Super Bowl. Good luck. Hey, hey uh, Derek, <laughs> you'll send us a Minnesota in February is going to be freezing. Ooh. Pac-Man from Florida. Go ahead. Say hello Pac-Man. to Xavier. Hey, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Good morning. Doing great, man. Go for it. Uh, uh, I just want to say first, congratulations, uh, Mr. Rose, on being selected to the Pro Bowl. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And uh, my question is, um, you know, I got a couple friends that are in the league, and I know that a lot of trash talk gets uh, gets done on that field. <laughs> yeah. so w- which receiver that you have covered has the uh, talk the most trash, and which one is a silent assassin? Uh, talk the most trash. Um, I say OBJ when I played against him on this year. Yeah, <laughs> what do you, yeah, yeah, what do you yeah, say yeah. to you? What do you call oh, you? Oh man, it was the scarecrow. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I say OBJ. Um, he was just saying little things like, "Man, you can't guard me." He man. Call I'm you little bitch. Little bitch. Still farm, you huh? You get mad? <laughs> I get <laughs> rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and um. Uh, the, um, the silent one is 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 Calvin Johnson. Oh. Calvin Johnson. When I played against him, that man won't say a word to you. He's just gonna kill you. <laughs> just just gonna hurt you. You know, <laughs> he's just gonna catch the ball, look at you, and just walk off. And that's the part that really gets you. Like, say something, bro. Like, get me riled up too. You know, but he don't, he doesn't say anything. Strictly business. Strictly business. All right. Okay. So I found information um, for this rare disease. Right. Um, and it's for Coney Anemia, um, F.A., kidsfirstfund.com. I want to encourage all the citizens, when we bring uh, these athletes up here, just understand that they're people first, and regardless of how we watch them play every single weekend so our team can win and somebody can take them a trophy and a lot of money and, yeah. the, and the accolades, this is the important work that they do when mm-hmm. they use their um, brand and their exposure and their reach to um, hip us to information we need to know it might affect mm-hmm. your kid or a friend's kid or a neighbor's mm-hmm. kid so kids first fund that's k-i-d-z first the number one s-t fund f-u-n-d dot com kids first fund dot com uh, make sure you go online and check that out as well i was salivating when i was saying it that's why i started laughing um and uh, Xavier, man, I want to thank you for coming through. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Have you got yeah. some more sports you could join us for? Absolutely do. We'll come back with it. Yep. Yeah, he's done some wonderful things in his career. On Sway in the Morning. All right. We got special guests. Have the B. We got Xavier Rose, number 29, <clears throat> from the Minnesota Vikings. He's here on behalf of the KidsFirstFund.com. Yes. That's K-I-D-Z, the number one, S T. F-U-N-D, kidsfirstfund.com. Go online, check it out for yourself, take a few moments, see what he's talking about. And now Xavier is going to help us with these sports. Heather B. Yeah, we're also joined by Steve Cohen, our senior mm-hmm. VP of sports here at Sirius XM. And Steve, mm-hmm. I got to talk about this past weekend in the AFC Divisional Championship playoff, well, Divisional Playoff Games. What happened with the Seattle Seahawks? Well, mm-hmm. Matty Ice and Julio Jones yeah. and... Devontae Freeman mm-hmm. and everything you could imagine went at that Seattle defense and and look you know now it came out later Richard Sherman's been playing with a sprained MCL yeah uh, that defense when Earl Thomas went out midseason with that injury that defense the face of it changed. Okay, I know you're not really you don't care about hip hop as much as we do here, Steve. But rumor has it mm-hmm. that the Seahawks lost because Future and Bow Wow was at the game. On the do, you know any, do you know anything on the sidelines? Do you know anything about that? I gotta ask Xavier about that because he's <laughs> on the field he's and you're you know, you know, on the field. Don't crazy. The sideline. Xavier, don't act like you didn't hear this rumor oh, too. Oh <laughs> man! Wow, Xavier, what do you think? <laughs> um, uh, could that be distraction? Do you think they could have distracted Russell? Oh man, I don't, I don't know, man. To be honest, <laughs> it could be, it could be. But honestly, you know, I mean, future love. I mean, he enjoys the yeah. yeah. so yeah. you know, that probably is his team. You know, yeah. he want to be on the sideline. You know, this championship game. I mean, you no, know, so he probably wants to be the support. 
But other than that, being on the sideline, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think that it's was mental about. warfare. Yeah, I just Xavier, don't know what that's yeah. about. Xavier, put yourself in a situation, man. Like your lady, oh, a woman, your wife, two of her exes do are on the sideline while you're playing. That's not enough to distract. Take your mind off. But that's mental warfare. I mean, you're gonna be looking on the sideline like to yourself, like, man, what he, what, what are he doing on the sideline? <laughs> yeah, like, what, why is he here? Exactly. You know? But yeah, you're right. But no, at the same time, but I mean, you have to be mentally strong in, a, in this game. You know, yeah. they'll find he, they'll find a way to get to you. You know, yeah. and that's the way they probably wanted to get to him. I mean, I don't know if it worked. I mean, actually, it worked. It worked. (laughs) (laughs) Next story. Yeah, 36-20 final. Atlanta, surprisingly to some of us, are moving on. Next game, no surprise here for a lot of people. Patriots in Houston. Uh, Steve, you actually picked the Patriots to go to the Super Bowl again this year. No surprise Hmm. for you. You know, I was looking at – I heard this stat this morning, right? Tom Brady, what, 16 years in the NFL? He's only had five Pro Bowl players on his offense over the course of 16 years. Mm. You want to talk about a guy that makes his teammates better. Five. Think about it. Dak Prescott had four others on his offense this year alone in his uh-huh. rookie season. Mm. So that says a lot. And all those guys skill position players. Is he way. still a candidate for MVP with missing the first four games? <laughs> well, I think he is, but I'm going to give it to, to Matty Ice, Matt Ryan this year. Mm. And, and I got to tell you, it's, you know, it, it ends with the regular season. But if I had to re-vote right now, yeah. I may be thinking Aaron Rodgers. Wow, man. Mm-hmm. Pittsburgh and Kansas City, a good game that went down. Pittsburgh actually went into Kansas City mm-hmm. and and took it. They didn't even steal. They just took it. What are your thoughts? Le'Veon Bell set a record for yeah. most yards rushing in the yeah. first two playoff games of a, of a season. Mm-hmm. He's just amazing. And listen, <clears throat> whether it was a hold or not, you can't let the Zebras decide the game at the end for the mm. two-point conversion. The Zebras being the refs. That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they should point I just that out. Yeah, I'm gonna in. But um, you can't let that happen. I'm going to go on record and say that this Green Bay and Dallas game is was my Super Bowl. Like, I don't really know what's <laughs> going to be better than that, Steve. It was absolutely unbelievable. Came down to the wire. Mm-hmm. And we see now Dallas is done. Green Bay is moving on. What were your thoughts on that game? Highest rated television divisional playoff game in history of the NFL. Damn. Really? Was it? Highest rated divisional playoff game in the history of the NFL. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was amazing. Yeah. I thought the Cowboys um, made a couple mistakes in the first half, taking uh, taking timeouts to get out of five-yard penalties. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the first half, they sack Aaron Rodgers at his 15. There's 45 seconds left. They have no timeouts left to stop the clock as they're going to punt. So they couldn't score. So I thought it was bad coaching in the first half. I thought they missed Randy Gregory, who just got suspended for a drug suspension. He's their best pass rusher, who missed most of the season. Mm -hmm. If you don't get to Aaron Rodgers, you lose. That's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. Next Sunday, Green Bay will take on Atlanta in Atlanta. Steve, obviously you're taking... Oh, Lord. Uh, I'm going to take Green Bay in this game, even though I like Atlanta at home. Xavier doesn't agree. Xavier doesn't agree. I can't go against Rodgers. What do you think, Xavier? Oh, man, I don't want to say... But, you know, Aaron Rodgers, like you say, Aaron Rodgers has been it's on hard. fire. Yeah. He's been on fire. It's hard to go against him right now. He's been on fire. Is it hard to read his eyes when he's about to throw? Man, it's hard to cover your guy when he's running around. Man, uh-huh. this man, this man is accurate no matter what. You know, he could be getting sacked, falling on the floor, and still throw the ball, and it'd be an accurate throw. Damn. <laughs> and the Steelers get a late or early Christmas gift, no matter how you want to put it. They have to go into New England and try to beat the Patriots. Yeah, we're going to see Belichick back in the Super Bowl with the Patriots this year. And uh, I think I think if we get a Green Bay, uh, listen, if it's Green Bay or Atlanta against New England, we're going to have a great Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Thank I'm you, Steve Cohen. Hey, Heather, I know we don't have much time. Maybe just one basketball game we can ask Xavier about. It was a big game last night, yeah, I think. Maybe one. Yeah, the Warriors in Cleveland. What, what do you think, Xavier? Because obviously, you know, he's from Oakland. Who do you think his team is? Uh, Did you see the game? We don't even have to ask him his game. Yeah, that was I mean, what he thought about last night's yeah, yeah, massacre yeah. of the Cleveland oh, Cavaliers. What can he add to that? LeBron said they need to practice yeah, more. That was, that was, that yeah. was pretty bad. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that was Thank bad. you, Heather, for the sport. You're <laughs> welcome, everybody. Hit me up at the happy hour, WHB. Xavier, it's a pleasure to have you Absolutely, on the show, man. man. Thank you. Thank Come you, back man. and see us when you're in New York, all right? Yeah, I will, I will. If, I'm, uh, if I'm in Minnesota, we, we go doing? for Sound Set. Oh, Sound Set. We yeah. do the Sound Set at Minnesota, the, uh, the annual festival Happens in, in, in May. Twin Cities in yeah. May. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. I hosted okay. it for the past four or five years. 
Well, no. yeah, I gotta hit you up when I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know y'all doing a lot of duck shooting out there. We go out, go hunting, <laughs> like, duck shooting, find some squirrels or something, <laughs> sell some fur. Get out, Sway. <laughs> you gonna get in trouble, Xavier? How can I reach you, man? <laughs> they want to reach media. you. On social he media. probably like y'all be oh, clowning up here. <laughs> <It'll work. laughs> <laughs> I know what they do out there. That's why he laughing. <laughs> what, what's your uh, social media, uh, Xavier? Man, uh, it's underscore Xavier29, you know, Instagram and uh, Xavier Rhodes, uh, underscore Xavier Rhodes, uh, no, Xavier Rhodes29 underscore on Twitter. And um, yeah, find him online, man. Thanks for coming through. You are officially a citizen. That's way in the morning. All right, we Thanks, got Steve. the celebrity wire up next. Yeah, man. And somehow Justin Bieber is involved in a child extortion case. J four five. Sex game, man. It's way in the morning. Only on J forty five.